Your enemy has eyes in the sky and on the ground. They see your heat, your movement, and your electronic signals. In an age of persistent surveillance, old school camouflage isn't useless, but it won't protect you. Your gear and your training are incredibly important, but if the enemy has thermal optics, you need to understand how to move against them. On a battlefield blanketed by drones and remote sensors, being seen is the same as being targeted. You're either a ghost in their system, or you're a target. Today we're not just going to show you how to hide, we're going to talk about how to disappear. We'll test high-tech countermeasures and clever decoy tactics to break their detection chain and turn you into a ghost. This isn't about what you look like to the naked eye, it's about erasing yourself completely from the enemy's sensor suite. First you have to understand the threat. Thermal imagers don't see light, they see heat. Your body, sitting at about 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, glows like a light bulb against a cooler background. So let's start by busting a few myths. First up is a movie trope, which is covering yourself in mud. Mud can briefly lower your surface temperature, but your own body heat quickly warms it up, and poof, you will reappear on a sensor. It's a temporary fix at best. Next is a prepper's favorite that I've heard over the years, which is the Mylar Space Blanket. These are designed to reflect infrared radiation, and they do block your heat signature, but there is a catch. Instead of glowing, you create a perfect human-shaped black hole on a thermal imager. You've just traded a bright, obvious signature for a cold, unnatural-shaped one that's potentially just as easy to spot. Achieving complete invisibility to thermal cameras is nearly impossible with most current tech, so the real goal is to reduce and blend your signature, not just block it. So what are the core principles of evasion? It all boils down to three core principles. First is your position concealment. You have to use the environment to your advantage. Dense foliage, thick trees, and terrain features like hills or depressions can block or at a minimum distort your heat signature. Using these natural barriers is one of the most effective ways to mask your presence from sensors overhead. Second is movement discipline. A moving heat source is ridiculously easy to spot compared to a stationary one. Every move you make should be slow and deliberate. If you have to move, use periods of low visibility like fog, rain, or twilight to hide your travel. For pattern avoidance, predictability is what gets you caught. You have to vary your routes, your timing, and your methods to disrupt any enemy surveillance patterns. Never use the same path twice. Never stick to a schedule. The goal is to be random and utterly unpredictable. There are some more advanced steps that you can take to help reduce your signature on the field. First would be decoys and false signatures. If someone is hunting for your heat, give them heat. Set up fake observation posts or deploy decoy thermal signatures to send them on a wild goose chase. This can be as simple as a hand warmer taped to a mylar sheet or as complex as dummy equipment emitting fake radio traffic. The goal is to flood their sensors with false positives and make them waste their time. The second tactic is electronic countermeasures. Every single device you carry, your radio, your phone, your GPS, is a beacon screaming your location. You have to practice strict equipment management, and this means using signal blocking materials like Faraday bags, killing all light emissions, and keeping any radio transmissions to short encrypted bursts. In the world of electronic surveillance, if you are transmitting, you are a target. The professional discipline of sweeping for these threats is known as Technical Surveillance Countermeasures, or TSCM. Finally, there are Surveillance Detection Routes, or SDRs. These are pre-planned routes with specific turns, pauses, and actions designed to do one thing, confirm if you're being followed. By making unexpected moves, you force any surveillance to react and reveal themselves. Defeating modern detection isn't about a single magic trick or a piece of gear. It's a system, a blend of concealment, deception, and rock-solid discipline, all built on an awareness of the tech you're up against. Success comes from mastering the fundamentals, which is using your environment, controlling your signature, and understanding what the enemy can see. The threat is always evolving with AI and integrating smart devices, so you have to adapt. What's the most overlooked counter-detection method you've heard of? Let us know in the comments below. Consider subscribing and liking and sharing our videos to help our channel grow. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.